What is up, everyone? D Crack here. And guys, I know, I'm sorry. I haven't uploaded any new videos, reactions, live streams in, I think, over two weeks. Um, for about a week, I had a really bad cold. I wasn't feeling very good. I was sick. And then I kind of got busy doing some other stuff. But I'm back. I'm going to check out Nuke's Top 5's newest video. Top 10 scary ghost videos to make you cry. Like always, guys, I'll have a link to the original video down below. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel as well if you enjoy my reactions. But again, sorry guys that I've been gone <clears throat> for about two weeks and I'm back now. Hopefully going to have a lot of new reactions and videos for you guys. So let's not waste any more time and check out. Top 10 Scary Ghost Videos to Make You Cry by Nukes Top 5. All right, guys, here we go. The last stop. This next viral video was shared by multiple social media accounts on the internet, but none of them mentioned the original source. The video shows a man inspecting an old abandoned bus somewhere in the rural countryside of Japan. Of course, as you might expect. Why is it always Japan? I, I swear that half of the videos that Nuke's Top 5 features on his channel are in his, you know, his videos. So like half of them are from freaking Japan. What the hell's going on over in Japan where there's so much ghost and paranormal crap? Fact, <laughs> things take Man. a terrifying turn. I was just going to say, let's let's hope someone's not living in the abandoned bus. There's just some creepy ass girl sitting there. And then he enters there and she just she just disappeared. OK. Uh. Where the heck did she go? She just completely disappeared. Completely gone. Oh, heck no. <laughs> As the man approaches the entrance to the bus, a girl can be seen watching him from the window. He quickly looks inside, but there's no one there. Now, because there's no source, it's impossible to say whether this footage is real or fake. But as always, I leave that up to you to decide. Something. Regardless if that first video there was real or fake, it was very, uh, very unsettling, that's for sure. <laughs> Watch is over. Very weird. Uh. Paranormal investigator Alex from the YouTube channel Hunting the Unknown sets out to investigate an old abandoned nun convent in the south of England. The old oh god, not creepy ass nuns. Oh gosh. Building also doubled as an asylum for the mentally ill. The convent slash asylum was active from the 1800s all the way into the late 1900s. With over a hundred years of dark history, it's not surprising that the building is said to be extremely haunted. Yeah, I one ghostly figure that haunts bat. the building is said to be that of a sad nun who is said to still wander the hallways. A sad nun? Why is she so freaking sad? The old asylum to this day. Alex decides to explore the convent completely alone with nothing but a camera and a flashlight. While in That's the best way to explore a creepy ass old haunted nun place convent by yourself. Best way to do it. <laughs> Inside, he gets the overwhelming sense that someone is watching him. Hello, is anyone here? Yeah, the freaking sad nun, bro. You're not there by yourself. <laughs> I 
Oh, that place is freaking creepy. Yo. Huh. Hell no. Get the hell out of there. Get out of there, bro. Huh. Don't tell me he's gonna catch the creepy Alex ass nun noises and feels on like he's camera. Being followed. <laughs> then he captures something absolutely terrifying. He's gonna catch the frickin' nun on camera. W. This dude is freaking brave to go exploring by himself. Did you see it? I would crap my pants. The investigator doesn't even notice, but as he passes one of the empty old asylum rooms, no. an ominous dark figure seems to be lurking inside. A figure with a creepy resemblance to the shadowy outline of a nun. So could it be that the old nun who allegedly haunts the convent was watching Alex? I miss that. The music changed and I'm like, I had a feeling I missed something, but oh, the freaking nun. Well, who knows? But you can watch this entire exploration over on the YouTube channel, Hunting the Unknown. Fire wow. and brimstone. That's creepy. This next bizarre video is a bit of a mystery. The video was shared. Fire and brimstone? That's not biblical at all, is it? Oh, gosh to the internet without a source and it's a bit unclear as to exactly what is going on here. The footage shows a dangerous fire near two cars and something else truly disturbing. Did like a small child like figure just walk out of the fire? Oh, no, what? Someone or something can be seen silently walking through the fire. Look like a small child. Unbothered and unhurt. Eerily, the figure resembles the shape of a small child. Yeah, that's what I'm Could saying. Could be that uh, the fire tragically claimed a victim that's whose what I'm spirit freaking saying, is bro. lost in the blaze? Without a source, we'll just never know. The woman in white. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think she's alive. I think that's 100% paranormal right there. Maybe a woman who <clears throat> died in a car accident or something on this highway in Mexico or and her spirit just kind of roams the highway now. I that's that's creepy. Captured a ghost on camera. But what do you think? Is this encounter paranormal? Or just weird. Just some crazy lady running down the road. More than he bargained for. Hell Paranormal no. investigators Tomo and Hiro from the YouTube channel Omagatoki Film are contacted by one of their viewers. Let me guess. Japan. <laughs> it's gotta be Japan, yeah. A man named Taguchi who claims that he's been experiencing Toguchi. strange activity uh, in his studio apartment somewhere in Japan. Of course, Taguchi it's Japan. Taguchi explains that <laughs> six months ago he found a very cheap apartment. And you might ask, well, why was it so cheap? Yeah, because no one it wanted to freaking the live there. The previous owner tragically took his own life right where Taguchi would be living. Unalived himself. YouTube doesn't like the other word, you know, for someone unaliving themselves. You guys know what I'm talking about. And sleeping. But the young man doesn't believe in ghosts, so he happily signs the lease despite the apartment's dark. You're about to believe in ghosts, Mr. Homayachi, or <laughs> I forgot his name already. <laughs> Was it like Komayachi or something? History. But then Taguchi starts to have T trouble. Taguchi, sleeping. okay. He says that he hears footsteps, voices, and scariest of all, he starts to experience sleep paralysis. Yep. Time to during move. Which he sees a distorted, laughing face right above him as he lays in bed, unable to move. Tomo and Hiro decide to set up two static- Yeah, time to move. Time to move, bro. Uh, you may be getting a nice cheap rent every month. It might be nice and cheap. 
I don't think it's worth uh, getting your ass cursed, though. <laughs> cameras into Gucci's home for a month. At the end of that time, they review the month of collected footage. They are shocked by what they find. One night as Taguchi is sleeping, this happens. Is Taguchi just sleeping on the floor? I swear if some like black shadow looking figure just like walks down this little hallway thing. Oh gosh. What is he doing? It's sleep sleep paralysis. But but the figure of this laughing face or whatever, it's not showing up on the camera. It just shows the guy like holding his neck. Maybe the spirit or ghost of the person who unalive themselves is not going to show up on camera. <laughs> Wow. Huh. Oh, hell no. Huh. Hell no. Taguchi appears to be suffering from a horrible nightmare as he grabs at his neck, seemingly in pain. He wakes up in an absolute panic. But did you see it? Oh, a no. A pale figure seems to materialize in the hallway. The apparition oh, appears no. to be watching Taguchi as he there struggles is, in his sleep. There is something in the hallway. Taguchi finally oh, wakes God. and the figure disappears into thin air. But no. there's something even stranger. Time to bring a Bible. The camera pointed at the hallway loses focus at the exact same time of the incident. And a distorted face seems to appear right in front of the camera. No. Oh, God, that's creepy. That is freaking creepy. It almost looks like half human, so half animal. this be the same bizarre animal. face that Taguchi claims he has seen at night? The Omagatoki team believes that Taguchi might be haunted by the spirit of the previous owner. But you can decide for yourself and watch the entire investigation over on the YouTube channel. Yeah, well, okay, creepy ghost man who unalived himself. You gave up the rights to that apartment when you decided to off yourself and, and leave this earth. To leave your body form and go into, into the spirit world. So leave Tamaguchi alone. Leave him alone. It's no longer your apartment. Leave him alone. Omagatoki film. Shake, rattle, and oh no. What? A music composer named Henning from Oslo, Norway says that for years he has heard strange unexplained sounds coming from his attic. Over time, the strange activity for years. has just gotten worse. Oh yeah, for, oh yeah, for years I've just heard some, I think someone's living up in my attic. I've heard that noise for years, nothing to worry about. Oh my god. So one day, Henning hears noise from his attic door and grabs his phone to record. Hello? Hello? I'm right here, hello? Don't mind me, I'm just going up in the attic. Just had to run to the store and grab some groceries. I've been living hello? up here in the attic for 10 years. What's up, brother? Don't mind me. Hello? I'm, I'm all good. I don't need any help. It seems like Hello? the door handle may be stuck a little bit, but don't worry. I'll get it open. I got the hammer. I'm gonna open it up. Oh. I know I was just joking around, guys, but... That's a creepy-ass attic. No. The door latched to Henning's attic shakes and rattles around as if someone is trying to open okay. the door. Uh. But when Henning snatches the door open, 
there's no one there. And then the door suddenly slams shut on its own. Oh, geez. Now, there's very little extra info on this clip. So, is it a real paranormal encounter? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? How would you fake you that, though? Caught on camera. You literally opened the door and there was no one there. Summer, who's a mother of two, lives in a small house in an old town in rural Georgia. Late hey, that's where my friend ATV Studio lives. Shout out to Georgians. <laughs> I don't know. One night, Summer takes her phone out to record a quick video in her backyard. But she immediately notices something that is absolutely Oh, unnerving. don't tell me something's freaking watching her. Y'all, yeah, I am in my yard. Watch my face. This is not an app doing this. This is my yard. The church is behind me. I think I saw this on TikTok a while back. Watch my face. This lady... Her face changes. Church. It's creepy, but I'm thinking it's just a trick of the light. There's like a light behind her, and for some reason it's it's dark out. So like when she rotates the camera or moves it at different angles, the light is hitting her face from different angles. Does that make sense? I don't know. Or maybe it is something paranormal, but... I think I saw this on TikTok a while back. Her face keeps changing as she moves her moves her camera like her face keeps changing you can see straight through me i kid you not look at this it's a trick of the light i think on camera summer's face seems to twist and distort into something unrecognizable it's gotta be a trick of the light moves around in her own backyard summer says that she's deeply worried that the strange old church across the street might be the cause of the creepy occurrence. That's a church? She attempts to find information about the history of the old church. That's a tiny little building to be a church. Church, <laughs> But she hits a dead end and is left with no answers. Poor lady, so did catch a bizarre paranormal visual disturbance on camera? Or just what is going on here? I think it's a trick of the light, but it's definitely creepy. It is the creepy, but cemetery. oh no! You guys, let Talk me know down YouTuber, below in the comments. Franco TV is known for hey, Franco TV. He's been featured a lot on nu Nuke's top fives. Franco TV. Exploring terrifying abandoned locations in the U.S., but for the first time ever, Franco travels south to the country of Peru to investigate the quote most haunted cemetery in South America. Oh God, that doesn't Pretty sound Tero safe. Maestro Cemetery. That does not seem the giant safe graveyard is at well all. Known by locals who claim that the place attracts witches who perform dark rituals with the bones of the deceased. As Frank explores, he finds signs of witchcraft everywhere. Oh hell no. filled with burnt out candles. I wouldn't touch that shit. Excuse my language, but signs of witches and black magic or whatever is going on here do not touch it with your hands you don't want to get freaking cursed in south america voodoo dolls and bizarre notes one of the tombs belongs to a world famous alleged witch gregoria camacho who died in 1897. Oh, hell no. from all over the globe flocked to her grave to carve their- You better believe if I went here, I'd have my freaking Bible ready. I would just open my Bible and start reading. I don't think these witches and evil things would like the Bible very much. Their names and leave candles and offerings. And when Franco finds her crypt, something happens that he simply cannot explain. Is he- a witch. Is he just in South America, like, exploring the cemetery by himself? South America is a very dangerous country, very different from America. There's, you know, there's lots of gangs and violence and just life is completely different in South America. I hope he's there with somebody and not just there by himself at the most freaking haunted cemetery apparently in south america by himself at night franco dude that's something bad's about to freaking happen 
who was buried here. Now, apparently she did good and bad, but mostly dark stuff. So on the top of Black her tomb, magic. they spray painted uh, Witch of Satan and stuff. But her tomb was actually kind of different from all the others because you could see a skull and bones, which kind of represents something what? very, very dark. But this is actually her tomb right here. Her name is Georgiria Gamacho or Georgia. <laughs> Gerigoria, something like that. I, I torture names. I wouldn't touch and it. You can see how other witches would carve their names in here and leave candles and trinkets. I wouldn't even touch the grave. That looks like it says Camila. <laughs> and if you look out here, you can see where they put all the candles. It's different from all the others. He's about because they put all these candles. Here. I've got a bad feeling Franco's about to catch something on camera, like a black figure or a shadow walk by or a freaking witch, the spirit of a witch. Oh, hell no. Dear. And candies. <laughs> Isn't that... <laughs> Unexplained laughing. Um, Hello? Franco. Bro, you might want to get the hell out of there, man. <laughs> That is one creepy, creepy ass it's cemetery. Laughing. <laughs> Thing is, on the maps, this area is blocked off. So once you walk back here, there's nowhere else you can go. <laughs> listen, listen. Hello? Oh, guys, that's creepy. At first, I thought that might be an animal. Like an animal making a noise that sounds like laughing, but... If you're watching my reaction here, put some headphones on if you're not watching this with headphones. That definitely sounds like a human laugh or like human like, you know, the spirit of a human. I I don't know. That does not that does not sound like an animal. Georgina? There's literally no one. Here. I'm surprised there's not like oh, okay. well, security security or anything here. Franco hears what can only be described as a like, I'm surprised there's no security or anything here, but like I said, maybe things are different in South America, you know. They don't care if you go to the cemetery or, or whatever. Sinister and mocking laugh coming from somewhere in the graveyard. And that's not the only strange event that Franco experiences that night. As he searches through open and abandoned cribs, he captures something downright chilling. Right in there. What is I don't that? Know if those are the remains? It looks like a sock. There's something tied up here. Let me zoom in. Dude, don't go back there. If, if you crawl up, zoom in a lot more. You I'm crawl up in there, so. bro. Not gonna feel bad if something happens if you're dumb enough to hairy crawl up in there. Huh? That looks like a dead animal. Oh or God. Something. Candy wrapper. Oh, that is so creepy. All right, I just got the K2 meter. Alguien está aquí adentro? Oh, Franco speaks Spanish, so that, that's helpful. I bet being in South America. You see that on the side of the wall? Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Was it just me, or did I just hear a woman's voice whisper something? I swear, I just heard something be like. We'll see if nukes notice that voice, or am I just hearing things? That's something that's kind of seen in Mississippi. It was like, hi When you see X mark, it's like they have something they want you to do, and they call upon the spirit to doing it. Did you hear it? Yeah, I heard it. Franco yep. doesn't know. I heard it. A faint female voice can be heard whispering, Hola. You see that? Hola. I wasn't for sure what it was saying, but that makes sense now. Hola, which is hello in Spanish. Whoa. The giant historic no, cemetery is also creepy. the final resting place for another well-known figure, Ricardo Espiel, a young boy who tragically died when he was only six years old. Oh. The boy Ricardo was said to be a benevolent That's sad. and huh. protective spirit. Visitors claim that the boy's ghost grants wishes and blessings to true believers. But when Franco inspects the young boy's gravestone, he captures something downright chilling. Now, 
I am making my way Ricardo. towards another tomb of a child named Ricardo. Now, apparently Ricardo grants blessings and wishes to everyone who comes to him. Seeking help. He is a very well-known spirit that protects this graveyard. Well, wow. one protects very it, interesting. and two also offers blessings to everyone who shows up here. I wanted to see... 1887. Wow. That's very old. This says... A la memoraria de Ricardo M. Espalet, sus amigos, 8 de Augusto, December 1887. What is that? It's like a hand or something reached out from behind the the grave. Now, what's more interesting about this is that in the back, you could see all the prayers from everyone and all the blessings. Wow. It's almost like a shrine. And what's more interesting is that it even says gracias. Like, pretty much thank you for making these blessings come true. Any blessing you want, it'll be blessed by Ricardo. Really? A pale, translucent arm seems to reach out from the young boy's yeah. grave. No. But again, Franco... I'm sorry. I know these people believe Ricardo's giving out blessings and stuff. I think it may be a little darker than that. I don't... Sorry, Ricardo. Rest in peace, but... You can keep your blessings. I'll just ask God or, you know, send a prayer up, prayer up to the big guy upstairs. Not, not Ricardo. Ricardo <laughs> doesn't notice. It's only after he posts this video to YouTube that the arm is spotted by some very perceptive viewers. Yeah, that's so uh is this indeed the most haunted cemetery in South America. Freaking creepy. Know what you think? You can watch Franco's entire three-part investigation over on his YouTube channel, Franco TV. Good for Franco. Looks like he has over 200,000 subscribers. Good for you, man. Ah, that thumbnail right there, paranormal. That's a uh picture from the game Outlast. I remember playing that. <laughs> the old Clune Park Estate. Clune Park Estate. Over a hundred years ago, Clune Park, Scotland was a bustling community of shipyard workers and their families. Shockingly, the estate oh, wow. of 430 apartments, abandoned? a primary school, and a church is now completely abandoned after the shipyard jobs. Y'all know what you guys are thinking, but this would be a damn cool place to have a paintball war. <laughs> a whole city that's just abandoned. That'd be some fun paintball right there. <laughs> Dried up and the workers all just moved away. Curious wow. visitors are warned to stay away because, quote, dangerous things happen at the Clune Park estate. It is said that many people have lost their lives on the property under suspicious circumstances. It's in Scotland, he said, but right? the warnings don't stop ghost hunting teams scared to death zero as they venture out to explore the old abandoned apartments of Clune Park. At first, they don't experience much. You got, you, you can't even lie. This, this is really cool. This is like, uh, explores dream place to go it's a whole freaking city that's just completely abandoned churches buildings apartments but uh also look just look at it guys just just look at it also very creepy looking and um if you go exploring definitely go with a friend <laughs> that's creepy looking just a few strange noises oh man huh <laughs> you know there's dinging and beeping and Unexplained sound. Yo. Nice. As time passes and the day's exploration turns to night, the team experiences something that shocks them to their core. And what's that? Oh, that one's open. It's going to be the classic. They look up in a freaking window and someone's going to pop their head out and be like, hello. Hey. <laughs> I was expecting that. And that still kind of slightly startled me. I should have known. I should have known that was going to happen. Oh, my God. Yo. 
window. Yeah. You see that face? Yeah. <laughs> Creepy face in the window. Let's go in and explore. Oh, hell no. Second floor, huh? The face just no, it's not right, bro. peeks around the corner. I crap my pants. Oh, it's a red light outside, that, isn't it? Hello? Which one is it? I don't think it's like a human. It looked like a ghost or something by the face, but maybe it's someone or something can be seen at a window. Some the deranged, inside, creepy the stairs, person. But there's no one there. Just a few creepy noises. Whoever was at the window seems to have just disappeared. The ghost hunting team believes that they captured something paranormal. The face does not but look human. Let me know what you think. It doesn't look human no. to me. Yo. Yeah. The face looks all distorted and is that? weird looking. The monster in the closet. Oh, that's always Dick fun. Monster Jennifer in the Lynn, closet. Her husband and three children moved into a new home back in mid-March. Since then, Jennifer has been busy painting and renovating the house while she is home alone watching over her three-year-old son, Caleb. But lately, Caleb has started insisting that what he refers to as a quote, monster lives in one of their upstairs oh, closets. Oh, jeez. Where's the monster? If one of my boys said, oh, a monster's in my closet, I'd be like, oh, hell no. Now, Caleb sometimes refers to this, quote, monster as his friend, or as her, and occasionally as him. But this is where things start to get really strange. Because one day, Caleb claims that his, quote, friend is in the tunnel. Is your friend still here? Mm -hmm. Is your friend still here? Why are you in the tunnel? In the tunnel? What's she doing in the tunnel? Oh, this poor little kid. Oh, God. You said your friend's in the tunnel? What color is your friend? Blue. She's blue? Yeah, he's blue. Blue? Huh? He's blue. Now, Mom Jennifer just dismisses it as a child's imagination. Yeah, well, it might, it might be more than his imagination, unfortunately. Because obviously they don't have a tunnel in their home. But the more or Jennifer ponders what little Caleb said, she remembers this. Maybe he means the hallway that's like a tunnel. His little voice is cute. It's a small closet, or oh. a storage space, or a crawl space, or, or something. A tunnel. But certainly something a that a child could interpret as a, quote, tunnel. Yeah, that, that is even that is true. stuff going on. Oh, because God. Because one night, as Caleb keeps insisting that there is a monster in the closet upstairs, this happens. Frank, will find a monster. Oh, if my kids started doing this, I would be so freaked out. Oh, I feel bad for the mom. This, this, this poor little kid. I almost be, like, believe him. Like, why would this kid just make up a story that there's some blue monster in a tunnel? Like, I don't know why he would just make that up. Is it in there? Is the monster in there? No. Where's the monster? In Caden's room. What? What? It's in Caden's room. It's in Caden's room. Oh gosh. Well, go check it. Go, go check, check him. Monster. Go check on the monster. Yeah. I don't want to do that. Go what? Check. What does the monster look like? It's blue. Go, go take it. I mean, the kid's story is consistent. He keeps calling it a monster and saying that it's blue. Like, what do you mean by blue? Like, ugh, distorted blue color? Yuck. Go 
Oh god, no. What? I fired her. What? I fired her. It's that freaking little tunnel. Now, obviously, it's spooky enough for your child to be playing hide and seek with his invisible monster friend. But when Jennifer uploads the video to TikTok, her loyal viewers hear something in the video that Jennifer didn't even oh, notice. God. I missed it too. What? <laughs> Oh god, no. I thought that was like a TV or something in the background. I heard that. I thought it was like a TV downstairs or something. Someone was watching something on the TV. I guess not. Jennifer and little Caleb are all alone in the house. But what sounds like a male voice can be heard. To me, it sounds like it could be saying... This is my place, or this is my house. But every viewer who watches the video seems to hear uh, something different. So let me know what you hear. I don't know. You can watch Jennifer Lynn and her son Caleb's continuing story over on her TikTok page at Vixie MCM X C I I. Thanks so much for watching my posting schedule. Is oh hell no. I don't I don't know what to think about that last clip with this little kid. Um ugh. I feel bad for the mom cuz you can tell the mom is clearly um freaked out which is understandable. Like her little kid here keeps saying, "Oh, the blue monster in the little storage what the boy calls a little tunnel." <laughs> But guys, it's good to be back. I'm feeling better. Again, sorry I haven't uploaded in a couple weeks. I was sick, feeling better now. But I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction to Nukes Top 5's newest video. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. And um, yeah, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Peace.